Hey what's up everyone, my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Coming Soon WP, which is a WordPress plugin that lets you create coming soon and maintenance mode pages. Now it's super easy to use, you just install the plugin, you activate a theme, you customize that theme and you're ready to go. But along with all of this, you have a whole bunch of settings that are available to customize all of this. Now first of all, you have 170 plus themes available as of this video. You can password protect the page, you can set up the SEO for the search engine to find it or not find it. You can also set an email capturing service with this. So you have available as of now, for example, there's MailChimp and there's Zapier with webhooks. So with webhooks, you can connect Zapier, Pavly, Integrately, Integromat, or just any service that have webhooks with it. So you can send it to your email marketing campaign super easy and super fast. Now, enough talk about this. Let's actually check it out how it works and all the settings that are available. So let's jump into my desktop and check it out. So let's head on over there. All right, so we're here at the main site, coming soon WP, and if you guys wanna check out the deal and if you guys wanna support me, the link will be in the description. Now, I wanna show you really quickly their features because this is what the main plugin is about. So you get 170 plus themes available as of this video. You get SEO settings, you get easy access for clients. So like I say, you can password protect this and you can collect emails easily. Now, let's in jump into my test site and show you how this actually works. So this is my test site where I already installed it and you can see, for example, first off, you get a dashboard with stats. Now, I didn't install Google Analytics, I didn't install any analytics plugin, this is just straight from that plugin that I told you. So it's pretty cool that you have, for example, you know what the top, top countries are, the browsers, the devices, and the traffic type with this plugin, you get that available. So. First thing we're gonna do is jump into the themes. So these are the themes that are available and all you have to do is obviously activate it and you're ready to go to edit. Now, I just wanna show you really quickly, there's a bunch of themes available for different situations, different types of businesses, and you can just grab one of these and it's super easy to get started using one of these. So for example, um, the one I like is, or is it this one? Obviously because I'm a digital agency, so I'm gonna activate this one and we're gonna continue, click on that. So if I already have a, another theme activated, it's gonna replace it. So be careful if you edited a past one and you activate a new one. So I recommend that you make sure that you preview these before you actually activate it. So you make sure you're using the one that you want. So once we activate it, we can go ahead and go into design right here. And the first thing that we're gonna be created with is the layout. Now this page layout is gonna be different depending on the theme that you select. For example, this theme, and we're gonna actually preview it first, this theme has already a email address receiver, right? So you can capture emails right here. So it's the title, description, and the email capture, and the contact us with the image on the, on the back. Now let's just say something's missing here. You know what, I wanna add more to this. And like I said before, everything is customizable. So here on the right, we have some basic modules that we can ask. If you wanna add more content, you can do that. If you wanna add a logo, a contact form and a video. So if, for example, you want to add a video for here, for here, you can do that. You can add a countdown timer and let's actually add that. First, I want to add a divider right here. So let's add the divider, let's add a countdown and let's add these social icons on the bottom, right? So we added all of that. Let's save this, let's preview it again. Remember, we're not editing anything yet. This is just straight out how it comes. So for example, now we added the timer and for example, here are the social icons. Here on the, you barely see them, but that's because I selected this type of theme. Obviously, you would have to change the colors on those and have it a little bit different, right? So we can select a different theme if you wanna use another image or just change it here on the editor. So once you do all that, you can edit each of the modules you activated individually right here. So for example, we have a header right here and we're gonna click on it and it says digital agency. Remember we saw that? That's right here. So for example, this is going to be, we're going to remove these capital letters. All right, it's going to be normal digital agency. We could change the header size. So let's make it a bit bigger. Let's change that to black. And we could change the font right here. We have all these fonts available. And let's just save that to preview. Remember, we removed the capital letters and we did that, right? So let's check this out. And there we go. That's changed. Instead of being that like reddish, you change that to another color. Also, we have the content. If this is what's the content right now, we could change that also. We have two column content. We did not activate that, but if we did, we would, add, we would modify it here. We added a divider. So in this case, the divider, we're gonna change it to red. 
we're gonna change that. We're gonna also go to no video, no map, subscribe form, social icons. So social icons, remember we couldn't see them because they were white. So in this case, we're gonna change them to black and let's save this and let's preview it. All right, let's go preview it. And there we go. Now we can see the social icons because we changed it to black. Now we also have a timer. We could change the options for that countdown timer. So for example, the countdown date is, let's change it to 2021 and just whatever date, all right? Let's select that, all right? Let's close this and let's save it and preview it. So as you can see, it's really easy to get started. That's why this is a really good plugin. It's just, you get straight away. So that's how many days are left to the date we selected. Super easy to do. Now let's just say, you know what, that theme doesn't, I don't know, I don't like it. There's something with it, I wanna change it. So let's just say you like another one. Let's see, all right, this foodie one looks really nice. Let's activate this one, let's continue. And remember, everything's gonna be deleted from the things we edited. So let's go preview this one now. And there we go. Now this one has a slider right here, a percentage slider to tell you when that's finished. But this looks really nice, really clean. And we can add more to this. Like I said before, we can add the, the email capture, we can add a countdown timer, we can do all of that fun stuff. Now what happens if you add the autoresponder? In that case, that theme doesn't have it, but we can add it. Well, if you add it, this is where you would edit it. And you have three available options as of this video, right? So this is MailChimp universal autoresponder and Zapier slash webhooks. Now with webhooks, web hooks, you can send it to anywhere practically. I mean, if you have Zapier, Pavly, Integrately, uh, Integromat, you can use webhooks and send it to an email marketing app really easily with this. So it's super easy to use. For example, if I select webhooks, I add my webhook here and I can send it to my, like I can say, you can even send it to MailChimp even if you don't use it straight from here. You can send it to, I use, oh, Automizing, that's what I use right now. And I could send it over there or I could send it to my Google Sheet with using this webhook. So it's super easy to use. Next thing we have is the access options. So on access options, you can show a normal site to logged in users or change it. Or you can IP whitelist, Earl based Earls rules. So for example, you can do that also. Secret access link. So if you want to change the link, you can do that also. You can customize the login to make it a little bit more secure. So for example, by default, WordPress is WP-admin. And if you want to change that, you would do it right here. You can show a login button right here. WordPress login button, change that options there. Password protect this. So you can password protect this site. For example, direct access password, password form, password protect coming soon page. So for example, if you want to set a password for the coming soon page, you can set it right here. So that means when someone visits that site, they're not able to see it unless they use the password. You can password pop-up message, wrong password. So you can, like I said, there's a whole bunch of things you can edit. There's the advanced settings right here. So send no cash yet headers and just all of these. Force SSL on coming soon page, enable WordPress REST API, all that good stuff. Custom code. Now, if you want to go a little bit more in depth and if you want to customize more, well, you have the CSS available right here. So you can change that right there. There's a custom header code and a custom footer hook code. So let's just say you wanted to add a live chat. Well, you do it right here. You just add that code right there and you have a live chat. All license options and for support, you can access support through here. And last but not least, the SEO. SEO lets you customize what the page is going to say, right? So for example, there's a target keyword. It's just coming soon. So the target keyword might not be that the right one. Let's just say you're a restaurant and you sell hamburgers. Maybe your, I don't know, your keyword is hamburgers or maybe it's California because the hamburgers are in California. You, you select the target keyword and it'll give you a results based on that. So you get an SEO anal analyst by, based on the target keyword. So there's the SEO title you can change here, made a description, and you can also exclude this from search engines. So let's just say, you know what? I don't want the search engine to find my page until it's actually ready. So I don't wanna show my coming soon page. I wanna show the final page. So for now, I wanna exclude their search engines and I wanna block search engines so they don't show it. And obviously you could change the fab icon, which is the icon on the top where, where the tab is and social preview image. So you can change all that. This is when you share it on Facebook, on Twitter or something like that. You got a, uh, an image, well, you change that there. So it's super easy to use. It might've sound complex, but that's just because I was showing you a bunch of stuff. 
But like I said before, you select the theme, you customize it, and you're ready to go. You got a coming soon page. So it saves you a lot of time. And you can have this ready also to create a maintenance page mode. So for example, I would just turn this off. Let's just say that was, that was a, a maintenance, right? So it's off and let's just say, you know what? I have to install some plugins. I have to do something with the site. I'll do a maintenance mode on right now. So you can set it on instead of having it off. So you have it easy, like already ready there to use. There you go, guys. That is coming soon WP. And if you guys want to grab the deal and support me, like I said, you can check out the link in the description. The link is an affiliate link. So that means if you buy through that link, I get a small percentage. It won't cost you a single cent more and it helps me out make these videos, grab deals and keep making videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.